the flight uh, took off at one o'clock in the morning. So it wasn't too bad. It was almost like a red eye flight, so I was able to sleep throughout the night. Now I'm waking up now, so I don't really feel the jet lag too bad just yet. So we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. I wake up. Because I've been here for five years, this is all the all my old stuff. So every year we get we're fortunate enough to get new stuff. So I've been told to clean out my locker to make room for the new stuff. Is it Russian? Yeah, it looks like a bill. When I got back here, there was a notice on the door um, saying that the electricity is off. You know, I haven't been there in eight weeks, so I have to call my landlord, Sasha Khan, right now to explain to him what's going on. <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark? I will see you tonight. <laughs> when I was in college, this happened one time before. Where I left my apartment and I didn't pay the bill. And I was going, actually going to NBA pre-draft camp. And I came back and my roommate forgot to pay the electric. And I came back and the apartment was dark. So I had to literally pack my bag in the dark and then take a plane to go to Orlando for the Orlando, uh, for the NBA pre-draft camp. And the place smelled terrible. You see what I just did? I wanted to turn the light on. What an idiot. It's a terrible smell. Uh, the refrigerator, the freezer's out, so there's some, uh, some meat that has spoiled. It's pretty bad. Gotta open the windows. Welcome to European basketball, everybody. I mean, I'm in shape. I definitely feel in shape, but um, I don't think nothing can prepare you for preseason, for a training camp. I mean, no matter how much work you put in during the summer, um, you know, how hard you train, I don't think you necessarily can simulate the amount of speed, the contact, things that you do every day, and I guess in training camp. Um, so, but it's, it's been fun so far. Um, I think we're getting through it. Um, we've been having a lot of tough practices, a lot of tough, tough, hard practices, but I mean, it's part of the process. Um, it's part of the process for us to, you know, to kind of reach our goal and kind of get what we need to get to, but it's not easy. It's definitely not easy, and I'm definitely feeling it. Moscow! Yes. I got to say that we're very happy being back in Moscow, uh, starting the work. Uh, it's good to see again uh, familiar faces. You know, there are several individual approaches. It's not uh, several cases. It's not the same, let's say. You know, I know Corey many years and Kyle, so I've seen that they know the schedule, so they they came fit, I would say. Uh, we actually started today, was the, the days are dedicated to Costas, you know, mostly to ch to check uh, their condition and their skills in jumping or running. Uh, same will be tomorrow morning with weights and uh, some other tests. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go slowly to, you know, to, to build the condition and then from the next week to, to add some basketball tactics. Always looking forward to, you know, the rest of the guys that come so we can kind of be one unit. But I mean, so far it's been cool and it's also kind of refreshing too to kind of have the younger guys, the junior team in practice um, because you can kind of see like, you know, all those guys are hungry, they're young and, they, you know, they have so much energy. So it's kind of cool to kind of keep up with them and try to, you know, match up with them and try to do, try to match, match their energy because, you know, a lot of them, they have, you know, 21 and 17 year old energy so you know us being like you know 28 29 me at 30 31 you know try to match it with them it's never easy but i understand the plays i understand the system so you know for me um you know being in the system so long that if i can help them you know with little small details or little things um i, I generally that's what i try to do Так мы не можем сыграть до конца. 
как я себе скажу. Это в Инстаграм потом, да? Или куда? Держите. Easy, easy walk in the park. After the next week, we have games, and then we have you know two or three games a week. We travel. We're in Greece. We're in Croatia, and we come back here. So, for the most part, I mean, I think it's going to be fun, but it's definitely going to be different, um, different rhythm than we've been playing in. Because you know, the beginning part has kind of just been like you know learning and learning and trying to learn and trying to grasp the system, especially with the new guys. But as we play. Um, I think guys are kind of get back to their natural rhythm, just playing basketball. And that's really what it all. That's really what it's all about. Just playing basketball at the end of the day. Like once I started, I stopped worrying about stats and numbers and started focusing on the team and the win. Um, I had more success in my own personal career. So for me, one of the reasons why I'm here at Cheska, one of the reasons why I continue to want to stay here is because I want to win. I mean, it's easy for you know any person or any player to go to a lower division team or a lower team and you can average whatever. You can get 15 shot attempts and you can average X and whatever how many points you want. But for me, it's all about winning. That's what I care about. I, I, I'm here and I've been here because I want to win titles. I want to compete for championships. So I'm ready to sacrifice my role. I'm ready to sacrifice whatever it is. Um, you know, obviously I want to play. Obviously, you know, I want to compete. Obviously, I want to do whatever I necessarily do to help my team, but. Whatever that is, I'm ready to do it. I, mean, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be on us. Um because we're such a strong team for us to kind of uh realize our roles and everybody to accept their roles. And as long as everybody just does their job, they come to practice every day, they work hard, then we'll be fine. That's really what it breaks down to. It's the biggest key to me. Davis takes a running three off the front of the rim. This is how it will end with Seska Moscow, long awaited new title and the two best friend coaches. And the one year, the year that we won, um, was because everybody accepted, everybody had the same hungerness, everybody was together. So I think we have the blueprint and I think we have everything on paper, but it's about us to kind of bring it together. I mean, hopefully, you know, this time in the, this time in the summer, when you ask me to cut this question, I'll be sitting here smoking a cigar with my championship hat on. That's definitely the hardest part when I'm here to kind of be away from them. I'm not used to coming into an empty house. I come from a big group of friends and family. I know people see on my Instagram page all the time during the summertime, like my friends and my family are like, you know, always around, always with us. Both my girls, my wife and my daughter. Um, you know, it's definitely difficult not being here. I mean. That's, as you can see, this the first thing I do um, when I get in. You know, I FaceTime them just to kind of see. Um, my daughter's usually on school on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, so um, you know, I wish I'd FaceTime her just to kind of you know see. I mean, obviously she's too young to talk, but you know, just kind of see her face and kind of see what she kind of did during the day. So that's definitely the hardest part. Um, but I know they're coming home soon. Coming, I say home because Moscow's like our home. I know they're coming here soon. So um, I'm looking forward from, from being there, but definitely my, I mean, my friends and my family, that's definitely the hardest part.